Dead in the heart, birdie, and slammer. Hope you're all having a great day out here at National Golf and Athletic Club with a fun little challenge in store. Get into that here in a second. I wanted to say thank you so much to Taylor Davis for coming on the channel in the previous episode. We had a fun battle to the end last upload. Go check it out. It was a fun match. Thanks so much, Taylor, for coming on the channel. Today, we are going to be playing golf with this golf ball. Had to go down into the storage room to find the oldest range ball that I could find. I think we found it. This looks to be probably 25, 30 years old, roughly. Not going to get much spin. Kind of wanted to see how I react. And if the golf ball makes a difference in scoring, we're going to find out. We're going to take you straight to the tee right now. Playing the blue tees, which is roughly 7,000 yards for the full 18. Number one, par four, 410 yards. There is water that runs short of the green, roughly 250 yards off the tee. So our shot is going to be right there on the edge of the fairway. It all kind of bends to the right, four iron, full send. All righty, not our best. A little right, 162 yards left to a front middle pin. All right, I've got an eight iron here. I don't think this ball is gonna fly as far as a normal golf ball. It is a little into the breeze. 162, I'd normally hit a full nine, but I think I'm gonna hit almost a full eight here. Definitely wanna get over the water. As I was taking my swing there, in the downswing, thought popped in my head, don't hit this in the water because this is the golf ball you have to play all nine holes with. Not a good swing there. Uh, a little short right. Got a little work to do to get this up and down for a par. All right, that's what we've got. About 20 yards. Don't hit it long, but we do want to get it up onto the green. This isn't exactly the lead we wanted. All right, it did roll out, but thankfully it stayed out of the water. It didn't have much room, but we've got a putt for par. Got a little left to right breaker. Shouldn't be a whole lot in this though. Ooh, we will take that and run. All right, par there on one. We'll take that all day long. On to number two. However, wanted to address that second shot, the approach shot. I'd have to give myself a grade on the mental approach to that shot, an F. Yeah, there's trouble over there, but you can't focus on it. And I definitely did there. That was a big mistake. However, did miss it in a spot where we still left ourselves an outside chance at an up and down. Got it up and down, on to number two. Par four, 425 yards from where the tees are set. Pretty much dead straight away. Tee it high, let it fly with driver. Little pull, but should be in decent shape there. As you can tell from that chip shot and from that drive, that ball doesn't spin much. It's not gonna really spin much on the greens. It's also not gonna probably curve too much with driver. So as long as we don't pull it or push it too far offline, probably gonna be able to hit some decent drives. Iron play is another story. We're gonna need to hit better irons than on one. <laughs> 121 yards in the rough, left side here. I've got sand wedge in hand, pins back left, in the rough, little down breeze. Might jump a little bit. Alrighty, there we are right there, about 30 feet left. Really good distance control there. However, line not so great. Oh, 
That was a pretty good roll. I thought that was gonna go a little to the left. However, we'll take that attempt. All right, that is a par here on two. Number three, par five, 615 yards. Our line is just inside of this tree line. You can see that castle off in the distance. That's our aiming point. Was a little right yes it was since we're on the golf ball change today i was just wondering what golf ball do you play comment below let me know would love to know what's your favorite golf ball and i've lately been playing with the pro v1 just a regular pro v1 that's kind of what i've been playing with and i do like it all righty there we are wise decision would be to just hit it up through that gap for a nice little layup on this par five but you know what i see it's stinger time. All right, so if I was in competition there for that shot, I would have taken a nine iron, hit it up over the trees for a layup, but I'm out here to have some fun. And you know I love to hit stingers. That was fun. It did scamper a little bit through the fairway, Wanted to have a little more cut on it, almost hit it dead straight, but we'll take it and uh, had some fun. All right, here we go. 81 yards left to a middle pin. I'm gonna go put the camera behind the hole, a little better vantage point for you. Take that all day long right there. This would be a huge pin slammer here on number three. Huge momentum swing as well. Let's go, are you serious? So far scoring has been pretty good. Very excited with a one under start through three. Definitely take that on to number four. Par four, 425 yards, dog leg right, green sits kind of back in there. Our aiming point is that cart path you can see off in the distance. And we'll take that drive all day long, hit it up on that slope, let it kick down in the middle of the fairway. That's what we're looking for. 100 yards left, lob wedge in hand. I'm not sure on the distance, but that was right at it. I just wanted to do this little challenge today to show you if you can't afford the best golf balls out there, you still can hit good shots, you can play good golf and have fun. So embrace the golf ball that you have and go out there and play some golf. That is what I'm talking about. Like I said, not gonna get much spin, but we wanted no spin there. Hop forward, got about a two footer left for birdie. Dead in the heart, birdie and slammer. Number five, par four, 380 yards from these tees right here. We're gonna be taking it over the corner of those trees. It's borderline drivable, but we gotta hit it really good. Most likely up there chipping. I didn't come here to lay up. You know we're going driver. I'm not gonna hit it a whole lot better. We'll take that one. We're gonna go up there, see where it ended up. Alrighty, not bad at all. Have a decent little 25, 30 yard wedge left. We did not really want to hit that one long of the hole there. This putt is going to be very fast.
Y'all, I thought that was in the heart. I thought that was gonna keep breaking. Whew. All right, that's all right. Par here on five. Number six, par three, 160 yards. Plays downhill about 15 yards, so roughly 145. I'm gonna hit a full pitching wedge. All righty, right there. About 40 feet, good miss. I'm a big believer in putting it when you can, even when you're off the green. Doesn't really look like there's too much of an issue through the fringe there, so we're gonna go with putter. Oh, I thought that was gonna break a little bit back to the left there. That is why you putt it though. We'll take a tap in par from there all day long. All righty, two under through six holes. Very happy with that. On to number seven, probably my favorite hole on the course. Little dog leg left, par five. Tee shot plays pretty straight, 590 yards from here. Our aiming point is gonna be right about where you see that deer out there in the distance. I'm not sure if you can see it. Right there on that little grassy knoll, pretty much dead straight away from the tee. The second shot is a dog leg. Didn't quite hit that one as far as I typically would on this hole, but that's okay. Hit it pretty much exactly where I was aiming, which is a good thing. Going to be a little far out here to go for it in two, so just means we get to sting it for our layup. Roughly 290 yards out, green sits down back around that corner. Going to play a little draw around the corner. Hopefully. I didn't draw <laughs> dead straight that's okay might have just trickled into the rough one thing i've learned on the couple stairs we've hit today is that the ball's really not going to curve it pretty much just stays dead straight when we hit back on three the one we hit here that ball's just not going to curve so probably need to play for that next time we sting it with a 25 30 year old range ball all righty about 45 50 yards left to a middle pin i'm gonna go put the camera behind the hole a little better vantage point from there wedge shot right there that probably went off camera we've got about 30 feet left for birdie well we didn't leave it short that is for sure a couple feet left here for par all right that is a par five here on seven Number eight, par three, 191 yards straight up the hill. Probably play more like 200. I'm gonna hit a six iron. I don't know if y'all could quite see it from there. Pulled it just a little bit, probably about 20, 25 feet left to the pin and it landed short, rolled down the slope back into the bunker. So we're gonna need to get this one up and down. There's about where it landed, trickled down to right there. There's the pin. Ah, I think that was just out of frame. It's only about six feet to the left. That was a pretty good bunker shot, we'll take it. This is a huge par putt to keep it bogey free. Oh, I thought we had it. 
played just a little too much break. All right, that is a bogey here on eight. This has been a lot of fun. Hope y'all have enjoyed coming along. If you have, drop a like down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And press that bell, those notifications. That way you can stay up to date on all the new videos and uploads that I have. And all y'all support here on the channel has been truly incredible. We've got one more hole here to see if we can shoot under par with a range ball. Number nine, par four, straight down the hill, straight away. No real trouble, just OB left. We'll take that one for the last tee shot of the day. Excited about that one to end it with. However, needed to share something with y'all. I found a Stinger tee, y'all. I don't know if it's focusing on that. Can you see the S on it? Stinger tee. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Thought it was pretty cool. Guess I was supposed to hit a Stinger there on nine the whole time. Comment below, have you ever used or seen these Stinger tees? I used to use them years ago. I really liked them, just uh, hadn't used them in a while. Good shape right here, 105 yards left to a back right pin location. Got a full send lob wedge ahead. Maybe we should have gone with more club there. That, uh, that's a little short. Distance control at times is a little difficult. That ball does tend to have a mind of its own from time to time. I thought I hit that one a little better, but that's okay. We've got a up and down here to shoot under par with a range ball. To shoot under par with a range ball. Let's go! One under par with the range ball right there, yes! That is it. One under with a range ball, yes. That was fun. 35 on the front nine, one under. Just goes to show you, you can play well, have fun, sting it, tee it high, let it fly, roll the rock, all the above with a 25 year old range ball. So if you can't afford a Pro V1 or top of the line ball, you can still play well and have fun with any ball you tee it up with. Yes, there are some out there gonna be much more consistent and a better ball, but you don't have to play those to play well. Hope you'll have fun coming along. Drop a like, subscribe below, ring that bell. And until next time, we'll see you when we see you.